Uncle George, where did you go? Uncle George, Uncle George! Hey, Elizabeth, I'm here. What was the door that you came out of? This door is called the key to the old sacraments. I remember the door of sacraments of baptism, the door of the sacrament of Myrun or confirmation, and the door to the sacrament of the Eucharist or communion. But what is the door to the key to all of the sacraments? It is the key to the old sacraments because it is repentance and confession. Of course you know it. I know what confession is, but I don't know how to and why exactly we need to confess in the first place. Do you remember the white clothes we wear after baptism? That's because our hearts become white and we got out of the water without sin. Now, when we lie, yell, say mean or bad things, or even think about something bad, then our white heart is not white anymore and the white clothes become dirty. We can just get baptized again so our hearts can be white again. We can't get baptized again, remember? Jesus Christ died only once and resurrected only once. But we can wash our clothes and hearts. Washing our clothes and hearts mean we repent and confess, which bring us back to God. Come with me, Uncle George. Let's go inside so you can show me how to confess. Before you go to Abuna, you have to sit with yourself and think about all the things you did wrong. You should pray to God and say, God, I am sorry for sin against you and that I didn't listen to you. Please help me so I don't do it again. Okay, Uncle George, think and pray before I enter. Got it. What do I do after that? After that, we go to Abuna and tell him everything, like, I didn't pray, I got into a fight, I yelled, I didn't go to the church, and of course, if we are in a fight with someone, we should forgive them and say sorry. Do I have to confess to Abuna? Can't I just say sorry to Jesus? I get embarrassed when I do something bad and have to tell Abuna. A long time ago, Jesus told his disciples in Matthew chapter 18, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The disciples represent the priesthood in our church. So you're telling me I shouldn't take communion until I confess? Of course, after you confess, Abuna puts the cross on your head and he prays the absolution. You get so happy because you feel like the devil who made you fall leaves you alone and Jesus gets so happy because you come back. So that's if I do something small. But what if I do a lot of bad things? and I was so far from God, and I haven't taken communion for a long time. Can I still come back and confess and repent? You know, Elizabeth, there are so many saints who did bad things. However, when they confessed and repented, they became good people. Even though they sinned, they would always go back and repent. Now, we ask them to pray on our behalf because they are in heaven and they are very close to God. What's today's verse? He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Proverbs 28, 13 He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Proverbs 28, 13.